Did you guys ever get cold days? Do you know what cold feels like? <laughs> what, what's, what's a cold day for you? <laughs> Today, so l low 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Time to pull out that turtleneck, Auntie Kathy. <laughs> so beautiful here. I'd move here to be homeless. <laughs> I'd do it. I would. Park it right there on the beach. I'd call all my friends and tell them, you guys, I moved to Hawaii. I live right on the beach. <laughs> you bought a house on the beach? <laughs> sure. I'll tell you where I would not want to be homeless, though. Any place where it snows. I started thinking about that. Like, the people who are homeless, what do they do at night when it snows? Like, where do they go? You know, I started thinking about if I was homeless and I lived somewhere where it snowed, I would call the police. <laughs> I would. I would. I'd be like, um, hello, police. <laughs> yeah, what kind of crime I got to commit? where you will put me in jail from now to about the summertime. <laughs> Robbery. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Can you meet me at the 7-Eleven? <laughs> I hurt my back recently, and uh, I know, I know, I know. This is how you know you're getting older, you guys. When you hurt your back, but you don't know how. <laughs> like, I don't even have a cool story to tell you guys. I can't be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, last week I was surfing and pff, you know how I do it. <laughs> I went hard. <laughs> no, I was putting my socks on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I went hard. <laughs> I hurt my back, so I went to go get a massage. And this next part of my story, you probably won't even believe. You're gonna be like, oh, she just made that up for a joke. I promise you, I didn't make this up. I went to go get a massage, and the guy who was giving me my massage fell asleep. <laughs> I know. I know, you're probably thinking to yourselves right now, like, mm, how is that even possible? I didn't know it was an option either. <laughs> Apparently, I'm really good at reverse relaxation. <laughs> I'm not a good cook. And it's kind of embarrassing because I feel like cooking is a bragging right for men. Like, men like to brag about their wives who can cook. Like, you'll hear a guy say something like, hey, my wife, She'll whip you up something good in the kitchen, <laughs> right? Fellas, even if you're not married, but you have a girlfriend and you know that she can cook, you will brag to your boys. You'll be like, hey, yo, son, my girl, tss, flick of the flick of the wrist. <laughs> or however you talk, I don't know how you talk, so. My poor husband, he can't brag. <laughs> like maybe he can chime in a little bit with like, "Ay, yo son, you see how fast my wife put in that to-go order? <laughs> with extra ketchup? <laughs> That's wifey, son. <laughs> no, I can't cook. I need somebody to teach me how to cook. And don't just give me a recipe. Okay, don't start tweeting me recipes after the show. Because when I read recipes, I read them as suggestions. <laughs> like when I see the list of ingredients, to me what that says is, if you have any of these. <laughs> and I usually don't. <laughs> no, I need some fundamental training. I need to know, if I put something on the stove, does the flame need to be this big or this big? Because <laughs> I will burn some scrambled eggs. I'll burn a hard-boiled egg. 
I said to my husband one time, I said, babe, good morning. You want me to make you breakfast? I'll make you some eggs. He said, yeah, how about over medium? <laughs> huh? <laughs> how about some over medium eggs? That's like the flame at medium. <laughs> Nah, babe, you put the egg in the pan, you make it medium. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put the egg in the pan. But if it breaks, I'm just gonna scramble it. And you gonna have some medium scramble. Some way over medium scramble. It was his birthday. I said, babe, happy birthday. You want me to make you breakfast? He says, my birthday, why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's to the point where if I cook, he thinks he's in trouble. <laughs> he smells something in the kitchen. He comes over, starts apologizing for stuff he didn't even do. He's like, oh, uh, babe, um, I'm sorry, cause uh, yesterday I was, um, why? <laughs> Don't worry, this isn't for you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> My husband has a beautiful afro, so girls are always like, oh, can I feel your hair? Uh, you could feel my fist. <laughs> wow, your little buddy's feisty. <laughs> My husband takes shopping seriously. He does, like he'll stretch before a good sale. <laughs> he will, I'll see him in the living room, stretching it out. I'm like, oh, you about to go work out? Nah, babe, Macy's one day. <laughs> He's good at it. If they give out awards for shopping, he'd be a gold medalist for sure. My husband is the Michael Phelps of shopping. On the other hand, I'm Ryan Lochte. <laughs> hey, I just came to have a good time. <laughs> My husband is dedicated. He will look at every single item on a rack. I'm hiding inside the rack, <laughs> waiting to jump out and scare him. He's like, t-shirt, t-shirt. Angela, very funny. <laughs> My husband has the mentality of anytime you leave the house, you gotta be dressed to impress, right? You gotta look good, you gotta smell good. So sometimes when we go places, he likes to pick out what he wants to see me wearing. Otherwise, I'm just gonna wear yoga pants all day. Because I might want to do yoga next week. <laughs> so sometimes he'll pick out my outfit for me, right? He'll be like, all right, babe, put on these jeans right here. Okay, my favorite. This t-shirt, I like where this is going. And those stilettos, ah, so close. <laughs> my husband likes to see me in heels because women look sexy in heels. It's just the truth, women look sexy in heels. Just not this woman. <laughs> not this woman. And I'll tell you why. Because I am bow-legged. <laughs> See that? See how my knees don't touch? <laughs> Trying my hardest. <laughs> so that means when I wear heels, I look like this. Look like I rode my horse to the club. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. If I'm wearing heels and I want to walk, 
I gotta bend my knees a little bit. <laughs> yep, look like a camel. <laughs> look like a camel trying to fold itself to get some rest. <laughs> 